John Tommy Thayer from KISS, and this is the White Lightning Signature Edition Epiphone Les Paul. It's a guitar that really was inspired uh, by Eric Singer, drummer of KISS and myself. Eric's a real guitar aficionado, a lot of people don't realize that, but he collects guitars and he's really into uh, the look and, and uh, aesthetic of the guitars. And I wanted a guitar that would really pop on stage, so this time we went with a white metallic. The pickups, front one's covered, the bridge is uncovered, and I've just always done that. It's really kind of a Jimmy Page thing. These are Seymour Duncan JB pickups in the bridge and the, uh, the neck position. The interesting thing about this as well is the binding. I thought maybe the, the three-ply, kind of like a Les Paul custom binding might be cool, and it worked out really well. It's just a nice touch, beautiful chrome parts on here. The neck profile is, is a, kind of a hybrid. It's not quite as thick as a... Uh, you know, a standard 58 neck, a 59 is a little more in the middle, which is uh, more what I like, just a medium size neck in terms of thickness. The tuners are, are Grover tuners, which are chrome also, and they're good looking. I've got my uh, White Lightning logo on the back of the headstock right there, as you can see. So it's a great looking guitar, and I think Epiphone's done a fantastic job. They've been great to work with on these uh, limited edition signature guitars, and I'm really, really excited about this one. Philanthropy is important to me. I particularly am interested in helping with music programs and that sort of thing too. Because uh, in schools these days, I know in public schools for sure, uh, you know, the arts and music programs have got drastically cut and, and it's time to kind of re-instill those things and help build them back. Well, that's why everybody wants a piece of the action. I grew up in Portland, Oregon, started a band called Black and Blue. We did well, we got a record deal and uh, made some records and that's when I met the guys in KISS because one of the tours we were the support act for KISS. That's where I got to know Gene and, and Paul and the guys and you know I started writing with them and, and uh, Gene produced a couple of the Black and Blue albums and it just kept evolving and I stepped in pretty you know big shoes to begin with uh, replacing Ace and uh, I love it though and I'm just uh, honored that I'm doing it and, and uh, able to say I'm the lead guitarist in KISS now for quite a long time. I think my tenure in KISS has been longer now than any of the other guitar players. Everybody wants to rock and roll and get crazy and have a great time and, and it's, uh, that's conducive to no matter where you are whether it's Japan or, or Russia or you know, somewhere down in South America. So again, it's, it's a, a really great guitar. I'm super happy, very affordable, but still very playable. These are great on stage with Kiss, and, and uh, it's very much a professional guitar. Or it could just be uh, somebody that's beginning could afford one and just have it at home.